Hi, I'm Suresh Bolusani. This presentation is based on my PhD research with Professor Ted Ralph at Lehigh University. In this talk, I will discuss a generalized Bender's decomposition framework that is applicable to several classes of optimization problems that fall under the umbrella of multi-level, multi-stage MILPs. The classical Bender's decomposition algorithm was devised by Bender's for optimization problems of the form mentioned here. Since then, it was generalized to numerous other classes. Our framework, which is a further generalization, subsumes many of these existing Bender's decomposition algorithms. Let us look at the exact details now. Consider this general optimization problem with first stage variables x, second stage variables y, and additively separable objective and constraint functions. The key idea of this framework is to consider the projection of this problem onto the space of first stage variables. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. This decomposes the original problem into two stages as mentioned in equation one. By replacing the second stage problem with a function phi vf, we obtain an equivalent reformulation equation two. Here phi vf is the value function of an optimization problem. So if we were to have the structure of phi vf, then we can solve the original problem by solving equation number two. But that is usually not the case. So we approximate the value function with a dual function phi underscore vf that is strong at known values of right hand side vector. As defined here, a dual function is a function that bounds the value function from below. And it is strong at a given right hand side vector if its value matches with that of the value function at this right hand side vector. In fact, dual functions are solutions to a so-called general dual problem defined here. It is a maximization problem over the space of functions defined by the set epsilon m. Note that by restricting this set epsilon m to specific classes of functions such as linear, subadditive, etc., we can reduce this general dual problem to well-known dual optimization problems in the literature for specific problem classes. Further, dual functions arise naturally as a byproduct of many primal solution algorithms and play a crucial role for primal dual type proof of optimality. We use this observation for constructing dual functions in our work. Hence, Bender's decomposition can be viewed as a procedure for iterative refinement of dual functions. At this point, we have this master problem, which is, an equ which is similar to equation two, but phi vf is replaced with phi underscore vf. We have this sub problem, which is an instance of the value function for a fixed right hand side vector. Overall, in the generalized Bender's decomposition framework, we start by solving the master problem to obtain its optimal solution. Then we solve the sub problem with a fixed right hand side vector. Then we check for the termination condition, which is nothing but strongness of this dual function. If it is strong, then we stop the algorithm. Otherwise, we improve the dual function further by gathering some information from the subproblem solving in step two. And we repeat this procedure. At this point, there are many open questions such as exact problem classes of master and subproblem, how to construct the dual function, etc. Answers to these questions are specific to problem classes. But one question that we can answer right away is related to the convergence of this framework which is mentioned in this theorem. Basically, we need two conditions for the convergence. The first condition is that we maintain a global dual function as maximum of the iteration wise dual functions that are strong at right hand side vectors in those iterations. The second condition is that the projection of the feasible region onto the space of first stage variables is finite. Under these two conditions, this framework converges to an optimal solution in a finite number of iterations. In fact, in practice, one dual function per iteration is generated. So the master problem can further be reformulated as mentioned here 
by introducing an auxiliary variable z. Here, the constraints z greater than or equal to phi underscore vf are typically called optimality constraints in the Bender standard approach. Let us now look at its application to mixed integer bilevel linear optimization problems. Consider this MIBLP. Upon projecting this problem onto the, onto the space of first stage variables, we obtain this equivalent reformulation mentioned in equation five. Here, rho is the second stage reaction function defined below. At this point, we have this master problem, which is similar to equation five, but rho is replaced with rho underscore, which is a dual function to the reaction function. Then we have this sub problem, which is an instance of the reaction function for fixed right hand side vector. This subproblem can further be reformulated as mentioned here on the right hand side, in which phi is an MILP value function. For fixed beta hat 2, phi beta hat 2 is a constant value. So this right hand side reformulation is a MILP, is an MILP. So essentially we can solve this subproblem as an equivalent MILP. Then we use this theorem to result for constructing dual functions for our algorithm for solving MIBLPs. What it says is, if we solve the subproblem as an equivalent MILP with a branch and bound method, then we can construct the required dual function as minimum of the individual dual functions obtained at each leaf node in the branch and bound tree. But as you can see, these individual dual functions also contain phi beta 2, which is an MILP value function, which we do not have to begin with. Our workaround is to replace this phi beta 2 with a strong primal function phi bar beta 2, which as you can imagine, bounds the MILP value function from above. Without going into further details, this is the updated master problem that we have after iteration k of the algorithm. As you can see, there are two approximations here. One is the dual function rho underscore for the reaction function. And another is the primal function phi bar for the MILP value function. So after every iteration, we are improving the approximations of two functions, reaction function and MILP value function simultaneously. Additional details are provided in this reference. Let us now look at a toy example. Consider this toy MIBLP whose reaction function rho and value fun MLP value function phi are plotted here. So in our algorithm, we start by solving this master problem to obtain its optimal solution 3 comma 2. Then we solve this sub problem as an MILP. We see the determination criteria is not yet achieved. So we generate these dual function rho underscore and primal function phi bar, which are plotted in these two plots. As we go further, you can see that uh, the reaction function approximation is improved by considering maximum of the dual functions. And the MILP value function approximation is improved by considering minimum of the primal functions. So in iteration two, we solve another master and sub problem. Termination criteria is not yet achieved. So we generate these dual and primal functions, which are plotted here. Similarly, this is iteration three and this is iteration four. As you can see, uh, the approximation of the reaction function and MILP value function here in, after this iteration is much better as compared to previous iterations. At this point, we see that the termination criteria is satisfied and we stop our algorithm. To conclude, our generalized Bender's decomposition framework can be applied to numerous classes of optimization problems even those without additively separable functions. It subsumes many existing Bender's decomposition algorithms. Its main drawback is related to the dual functions. It can be incorporated into a branch and bound setting to result in a branch and Bender's framework. A basic implementation for solving MIPLPs is already available on GitHub. We are working on multiple enhancements to that code. That's it. Thank you.